Ten years on, emotions are still raw in Chibok, in Nigeria's northeastern Borno state. Of the 276 girls taken, 194 are back home. Among them, 57 who escaped their captors in the early days of the kidnapping by Boko Haram fighters. For the parents of the 82 girls who are still missing, the wait continues. On the 10th anniversary of the mass abduction, parents and activists gather to remember what happened and to mount pressure on the government. We want them to be free from that Sambisa, to be united with us in her, at home, and that's what we want. After a decade of campaigning, parents here are worried that international interest in the girls' plight is waning. We don't know, we cannot tell what is the reason they have withdrawn from. I don't, we don't know, we parents, we don't know, but we are still call on them. They should not left us, let us back. We need their assistance, we need their help. On April 14, 2014, Boko Haram fighters apparently looking to steal food from a secondary school that was supposed to be shut because of the deteriorating security situation in Borno State, raided the Chibok All Girls Secondary School. They encountered hundreds of students and took them away. A late response by security forces complicated their rescue and caused global outrage. Before leaving, the fighters set the school on fire. Chibok Secondary School has been rebuilt since the girls' abduction, but it's always continued to be haunted by what happened then. The school has become a shrine for victims and their families who gather here annually to mourn and to remember that Nigeria is yet to overcome the root cause of the problem. Activists blame governments past and present for failing to secure schools and students as mass abductions reach a crisis point in Nigeria. Former captive leader Joshua says her freedom is incomplete as long as her schoolmates remain missing. I'm not really happy because I'm in together with my family. Rest of them, they are not together and they are so far. I'm praying that God will bring them back. But this year, not all is gloom. On the eve of the 10th anniversary, a few heard warming moments. One of the kidnapped schoolgirls, now a university graduate, got married. She was among those whose rescue was negotiated along with dozens of others by the previous Nigerian government. At the commemoration, parents mark the end of the gathering with a prayer that when they meet again next year, other parents will be marking the occasion with their missing children or at least have found closure to that dark moment in Nigeria's recent history. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Chibok, Nigeria. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.